We believe that it is possible for the offshore wind industry to share the ocean space with the fishing industry. So we're keen to better understand how we can coexist with local fishers with a particular focus on floating wind. Equinor decided to do these trials to understand whether it is possible to fish safely within the turbine area of a floating offshore wind farm. We're currently in the high wind floating offshore wind farm, which is the east coast of Scotland off of the coast of Peterhead and this is the world's first floating offshore wind farm. The main aim of the project is to trial the safety of deploying the gear in a floating offshore wind farm. The biggest challenge for us as a vessel is for the weather conditions when we get to the high wind wind farm. We've got to keep an eye on these towers all the time. So when we go here, we're hauling and shooting equipment. We've got to be safe at all times. The safety is priority number one, you know, but everybody has to stay safe. We're just here on the fishing deck, and this is where we've got all our gear stored. So down here, we've got our prawn creels, and this is a fleet of 20. Then over here, we've got our crab creels, and this is also a fleet of 20. On the lower deck, we have eight large fish traps, and over here we've got our electronic jiggers and this is three jiggers which you can see the guys are operating just now. The idea is we have to go out and shoot these strings of uh, equipment in certain areas within the, the wind farm to see where the concentrations of crab or fish or shellfish are within the wind farm itself. We've undertaken monthly trips for a period of five months, from July to November, with each trip lasting about four to five days each. We're doing a rotational fishing method around the different sites, inside and outside of the wind farm, and we're deploying and hauling the different types of gear each day and moving on to the next area and so on. So this is the standard way that we measure fish and shellfish and then we're putting all of that data into the laptop and analysing that data. This insight will support considerations for good practice uh, to promote coexistence between offshore wind farms and commercial fisheries. We have also collected biodiversity data inside and outside the wind farm to further our environmental knowledge of the wind farm and the surrounding areas. This trial proves that under the right conditions and with the right information, it is possible to safely deploy and recover these types of fishing gear within a floating offshore wind farm. And we're hoping to expand the trials to also include other fishing methods in the future. These trials have given us valuable knowledge that we will be using in our projects all over the world.